be a good volunteer, I think you need to be dedicated. I think you need to be professional. Um, I think you need to remember that it's not about you, it's about who you're trying to help. Um, I think you have to have a good sense of humor. Um, I think you have to have stamina. And I think you have to have a loyalty. Um, loyalty to your program, loyalty to your values, loyalty to what you believe in. Um, because a lot of times those things can be tested. You always need to make sure that you're bringing out the best in other people, but more importantly, the best in yourself. People are always watching. The volunteer is the heart and soul of any organization. I'm not sure that West Haven Pop Warner would be what it is today without Kebby. Uh, she's been involved now for a little bit over 10 years. Uh, she was just named the Southern Connecticut Pop Warner Volunteer of the Year. Uh, not only is she the cheerleading coordinator, but she also does just about everything we ask her to do. Uh, she works so hard. She gives 100% to everything that she does do. You know, when she takes on a task, you don't have to ever follow up on it. You know that it's going to get done, and it's going to get done really, really well. I mean, it's good, you know. I mean, she knows everybody in town, but, you know, we've both been in town forever, you know. Well, she grew up here, so, you know, with her... Uh, her dad being the fire marshal and her mom was pretty outgoing too and I think that's where she got it from her mom you know because her mom did a lot of volunteer work so that rubbed off on Kebby you know it's just I think it's more you know she likes she likes interacting with the community you know she likes being out there we're gonna head over to um, West Haven High School and help judge the varsity cheerleading tryouts. The new um, varsity cheer coach is one of my Pop Warner cheer coaches. She just got hired to the job of varsity cheer coach at the high school. So they asked if I would come and help judge their tryouts. So we're going to head over there. Um, a lot of the girls that tried out today for the West Haven High School varsity cheer team have cheered with the Seahawks program. So it was really important for me to put aside my preconceived ideas of who they were and who they are as an athlete. Hi, Hi sweetheart. Good luck, girl. You know, you know, they're my kids. You know, I refer to people I talk to at work, I'll say like, oh my God, my, my kids this or my parents this. And they're like, what? And I'm like, oh no, no, I don't mean my kids or my parents. I mean, you know, my Seahawk kids, my Seahawk parents. So there was about five or six girls that also were on the Seahawks. So a lot of these girls, some cheered their whole Pop Warner career with us and some cheered for a year or two. Harley and Tiana were also on our first cheer team to go to nationals. Um, as they were junior peewees, nine-year-old junior peewees. And that's true, they were also my first Tiny Mite team. When we first started the five and six-year-old program, they were on the first Tiny Mite team as well. Um, also, Tiana's brothers all played football for the Seahawks. Brianna's brothers all played football for the Seahawks. Brianna's dad coached for the Seahawks. Your brothers played baseball, right? How about you guys? Oh, yeah, and Lexi's brother played um, football for the Seahawks, and Lexi's dad coached for the Seahawks as well. And Lexi's mom coached for the Seahawks for a year. <laughs> she was a cheer That's coach. right. Yeah, I think without Papa Warner, I would not have continued cheering. I wouldn't have made any high school team, or I wouldn't have been All-American or anything that I am now without Papa Warner. So. Um, Pop Warner really helps you get ready for high school because it's such a big step and everyone around you is really supportive and wants to push you to do your best so and they just even if you leave and go to high school they want you to come back and help girls learn new things. Oh don't cry! <laughs> oh, I'm so proud of you guys! <laughs> I'm so glad that you're good people. I don't really care that you're good cheerleaders. I mean, that's nice, but I'm so glad that you turned out to be good people. Oh, that's my goal. <laughs> I don't necessarily know if I can remember when I became interested in volunteering. I, I, I always just expected that of myself. And I just feel like it, was, it wasn't a question. Like when you have the opportunity to help someone else, you do it. It's just something she's always done, you know, ever since I've known her, you know. You know, she works, you know, over 40 hours a week at her other job and the kids see what she does and uh, how she handles it too, you know. So I think it's definitely means it means the world to him, yeah. You know?
I like honestly she does not make it seem like she's stressed out at all like she comes home from work she works from 7 30 to 4 30 gets home at 5 then that's during season she gets home and we go right to cheer practice at 5 30 and um just seeing what she does makes me want to work as hard as she has it's it's really inspiring to watch my mom go to work and volunteer and still be able to take care of me and Megan and she's always just tries to do the best she can do to like to help anyone out in like any situation. I do feel like when they were younger they missed out on things because of the amount of time that I spent doing for others. Um, and it, it's hard because there's some, oh I'm gonna get choked up. <laughs> I always feel like someone has to speak for the kids that don't have anyone to speak. I don't want to do this. <laughs> I think it's important for someone to speak for the kids who don't have anyone to speak for them or to mentor kids that don't have anyone maybe to mentor them at home. So although it may have taken a little bit away from my kids, I think they learned that it's important for them to do that if they're given that opportunity when they grow up. I think it just comes naturally, like just wanting to help people out. She's just always willing to like be there for anyone and like a good friend to like everyone she meets and it makes me feel really proud of her like that's my mom